It feels really good to know that you're doing something positive for the environment and every time I compost I feel like I'm taking action. My name is Astrid Livesey St. Pierre and I'm Ellen Lansing and we've been operating a student-run composter at the Lake Placid High School and now we've made it a business. We take food scraps from our cafeteria, food scraps, food waste, and we put it in the drum behind me and where it breaks down with heat and oxygen and turns into a nutrient-rich soil. When a few students who, you know, sort of got the project started a little bit, they graduated and we needed more people to pick up the project after they left. Um, me and Astrid, we were sophomores and um, we were already super passionate about the environment and it definitely helped that we could stand the smell, so. <laughs> Most of the time, it's not too terrible. It's just food. If it's been sitting around a while, it starts to smell a little bit, or if there's certain foods, it's not too awesome. Uh, but it really isn't that bad. Uh, it's very doable, very endurable. Um, and I've been doing this for three years now, I think. So I've gotten used to it. Composting takes the carbon that's in um, food waste and puts it back into the soil instead of into the atmosphere, which is uh, part of regenerative agriculture. And um, when carbon dioxide goes into the atmosphere, it contributes to global warming and climate change. With composting, one of our goals is to reduce the amount of methane that we put into the atmosphere. And methane is produced when food breaks down. Uh, so methane is just a greenhouse gas that is super volatile and we don't want that in the atmosphere because it help really contributes to climate change. With our mentor, Tammy Morgan, we turned uh, the student-run composter into a student-run nonprofit business, which is very rare to find. I don't know of many student-run businesses. Um, and to do that, we take the food waste from families and businesses in the community, and then they bring us their food waste, which we compost um, three times a week. And there are about five students who do the composting with us. It's a little meditative when you're actually doing the actual composting because you have to mix everything together. And I've been doing it so long that it goes step by step and I can just enjoy myself while I do it. Gardeners and farmers uh, like to use the compost um, gardens and farms because it's super nutrient rich. It's much better than just your average bagged garden soil. And a lot of our customers do this. They take the compost that we produce and use it in their own gardens. So this helps create a cyclical food cycle that's more sustainable compared to your um, the average linear food cycle, which is not sustainable, where people eat their food, they throw it out, it goes to the landfill, and that's all. Um, and one of our goals is to help create this cyclical food cycle instead of the linear one. A lot of the times when people think about climate change and global warming, um, they just get stuck in this mindset where it's like, well, it's such a big problem, there's nothing I can really do. And so it's really, um, it's great for me personally to be able to feel like I'm doing something and I know that I also have the power to inspire others to do the same, which is just the most amazing feeling.